What's Gucci, fam? I cannot say that with a straight face. I'm sorry. What's going on, guys? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. For today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And I just want to preface this video by saying if you guys are my consistent viewers and you are subscribed to my channel and you are not interested in editing, filming, and Final Cut Pro, then I'm going to encourage you guys to probably just skip this video. I post daily, so just watch out for a video tomorrow. But if you want to stick around because you just enjoy my content regardless about what it is about, uh, then I'd encourage you to stay. But I'm only saying all of that because today we're going to be talking about an editing software. The editing software I currently use and that editing software is Final Cut Pro 10. Now I've been using Final Cut Pro for quite a long time now and it's something that I use pretty much daily and I really do like this editing software a lot. So I thought I would make a video specifically talking about my top 5 favorite free plugins for Final Cut Pro. If you guys enjoy this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you don't for whatever reason give it a thumbs down because it helps me to know that I'm doing something wrong. Without further ado, let's jump right right into my top five favorite free plugins for Final Cut Pro. The first plugin we're going to be talking about is really not just a particular plugin, but more of a place to get a bunch of different free plugins. There's a YouTuber out there named Ryan Nango, and Ryan Nango has recently become extremely popular among filmmakers on YouTube because he produces quite a lot of different kinds of free plugins for Final Cut Pro. He produces plugins that do cost some money, but whenever he releases a pack that costs money, he also releases a free version of that pack. And these plugins are no joke, they are very well made, they work seamlessly, and they are great great place to get plugins. So I'm going to link Ryan Nangle's channel down below. You'll find a world full of free plugins for Final Cut Pro. This dude is really a game changer for all filmmakers on YouTube. He makes some awesome plugins. They're free, which is amazing, and you should definitely check him out. These plugins are without a doubt the best place to get plugins for free for Final Cut Pro anywhere on the internet, at least in my opinion. The next plugin we're going to be talking about is the Pixel Films LUT Loader. Now this is a particular plugin and it is free. What the Pixel Film Studios LUT loader does is it enables you to download LUTs off of the internet and then use them on your videos. Now if you guys don't know what a LUT is, it stands for lookup table. And essentially what that means is when you add a LUT to your videos, it analyzes all the different colors in the pixels of your videos and then changes them to the presetted LUT that someone else created or you created yourself. So it's sort of like a filter, like the ones on Snapchat except it's for video and it's a lot more professional. Now the Pixel Film Studios LUT loader doesn't actually give you any of these LUTs, but what it enables you to do is download those LUTs off of the internet and then use them in your videos. So you can get free LUTs off of the internet, but if you download those LUTs and you don't have a LUT loader, you can't actually use those LUTs in your videos. So that's why it's so important to have one of these installed into your copy of Final Cut Pro. The third free plugin we're going to be talking about today is Lino FX Clean Lower Third. And all this pretty much is, is just a clean lower third text title for your videos. I've used this plugin a couple different times in my videos. I'll just put one right there. And as you can see, it's just a simple but clean lower third title. I know this one's not like mind-blowing or anything like that, but to be honest with you guys, it's kind of hard to find clean, simple titles for Final Cut Pro that are actually free. I mean, you can find titles like this, but you usually have to pay money for them. So to be able to find a title like this that is super customizable and very easy to use is pretty rare um, on the internet. All right, so the fourth free plugin is not really a specific plugin, but like Ryan Nangle, it's more of just a place to get plugins. The website is called fcpxfree.com, and I'll link that down below. Pretty much, it just has a bunch of free Final Cut Pro plugins. They have effects, they have titles, they have transitions, they have generators, they have all sorts of cool stuff, so be sure to go check them out. Just a little warning, though, they can be a little tacky, as they are free. So just try to kind of skim through the website and pick out the good ones and kind of leave behind the bad ones and just choose the ones you want and you know, leave the rest behind. But there is quite a variety of these plugins on the website, so I'm sure you could find one or two that you're definitely gonna wanna add to your inventory on Final Cut Pro. Number five on the list for free Final Cut Pro plugins, I've said that so many times this video, is once again, not really a specific plugin, but a place to get plugins. And this time it is another YouTuber named Mark Webster. Mark Webster, like Ryan Nagle, makes a bunch of different plugins for Final Cut Pro. He makes really cool ones, and he also makes a bunch of different tutorials. So I'm gonna link his channel down below. I'm sure you can find at least one or two or 10 or 20 plugins that you can add to your Final Cut Pro. He, like Ryan Nangle, makes plugins stylized after the fashion of people like Sam Colder and Andreas Hem and Taylor Cut Films and the people like that. So if you are interested in those sorts of videos, you should definitely check him out. 
Alright guys, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I remember always wanting to find good free Final Cut Pro plugins when I was first starting off with Final Cut Pro. So I hope if you guys are in the position like I was, that this video was helpful to you and you learned something new and you got a few new plugins to add to your Final Cut Pro. As usual, as per se, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you didn't enjoy it for whatever reason, give it a thumbs down. It helps me know I'm doing something wrong. By the way guys, I make all sorts of different videos on this channel. I make vlogs, I make edits, I make tutorials, I make challenges, all sorts of cool stuff. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to go check out those videos. And if you enjoy those videos, maybe even consider subscribing uh, if you want. You don't have to, but I appreciate it. And I think that is pretty much it. I make daily videos, so tune in tomorrow, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Before I go, if you guys want to see more tutorials like this on my channel, I made that hyperlapse tutorial and then I made this, so I just don't know if you guys like these videos. So if you do, leave me a comment down below telling me that you want to see more videos like this. Alright, that's it. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.